All right. God bless your heart real good. You said you that this is the year 2023. There is it's October 24, 2023. <clears throat> At this time, there is fighting and bombing and war in Israel. Three Israel is a boss. Now, it'd be good. You got hypocrites and ignorant ones said, we stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. What? Do you know what you're talking about? No, you're not standing with Israel. No, you're not. You know they pick, they, you know, hypocrites always put, pick a scripture out of the Bible to make themselves feel good about themselves. Read Psalms 122. Hallelujah. That whole area is over. God don't even dwell there. It's by faith now, not location, not temple, not Jerusalem, not the land. It'd be good. <laughs> All right. You know who you standing with, ignorantly? In the 23rd, let that go there. Here's who you standing with. Here's who you standing with. Matthew 23, here's who you standing with. You standing with the same one that denied Jesus, the same one who killed the prophet, the same one who killed Jesus, the same one who persecuted Jesus' disciples. And I feel the Holy Ghost. Woo! Matthew chapter 23. Well, you stand with this, but no, you don't. Here's who you stand with. In verse 30 said, Oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, thou that killeth the prophets. And stoneth them which I sent unto thee. That's who you standing with, the enemies of God. You ain't standing with Israel. I know. Well, who is the real Israelites? Real Israel is spiritual. Not blood, but spirit. Yeah, blood is real Israel. But the scripture ain't talking about blood. Go to, come here, come here. I feel the Holy Ghost. Give me the book of Romans. Get your Bible. Chapter number nine. In verse number one, you ain't standing with no Israel, so you want Israel to win the war. That means you want Israel to kill Hamas. You won't kill it to go on. Jesus told Peter, put up your sword. Well, I guess I better leave it alone. In the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 1, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. I have that too, God knows. For I could wish that myself was a curse from Christ 
for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. I wish I was cursed for their sake, that they may be saved. Well, I can't say that. I can't say that. I don't have that much love. I don't want to be cursed that nobody else be saved. I don't have that much love. To whom pertains the adoption and the glory and the covenant and give the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, whose our fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, God bless forever. Amen. Not as though the word of God had taken another effect, for they are not all Israel. He came to his own, and his own received him not. God, God worried what in vain. Jesus didn't come in vain. The one that didn't receive him, that was not Israel. But they are not all Israel, which are Israel. We Abraham see, but Jesus said, you are your father the devil, the eighth chapter of John. You are your father the devil. You see the kill me, Abraham to seek that. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Naturally, legends. These are not the children of God. But the but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time when I come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children not yet being born, neither having done any good or evil, for the purpose of God, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that called it. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. And it is written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is thou unrighteous with God? God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy whom I have mercy, and have compassion whom I have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but God that showed mercy. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, uh, 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 even <coughs> for the same purpose, I raise you up that I might show my power with thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all earth. Therefore, has he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will heart. Thou wilt say unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nay, but, O man, who art thou that replies against God? Shall the thief form say to him that form it? Why hast thou made me thus? And I'll skip it all down. We're still in the same chapter, chapter nine. Look at 24. Even thus, who he had called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. And he said also in O.C., I will call them my people, which are not my people. And her beloved, which was not beloved. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God, the Gentile. I said, cry concerning Israel, though the number of Israel be as the sand of the sea. Only a remnant shall be saved. Only a remnant. Hallelujah. 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, had not attained the law of righteousness, because they saw it not by faith. All Israel is not Israel. Israel is those old that follow Jesus Christ, that bore the water in the spirit. That's Israel spiritual. Now, that's real Israel. Who you follow? Thank you, Gabriel.